Hi Libra, it's Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let us see. Ooh, Aquarius, your cousin. You got Sagittarius there, you Sagittarius there, you got Gemini there, and Pisces there with the Three of Wands. So what are you looking to happen, Libra? You guys are looking for your next opportunity. Because a lot of you guys are feeling stuck, especially in love. This kind of says to me that you have a lot of almost, right? You have the page of wands, which represents, you know, minor excitement. Um, some of you guys, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it looks as though you're looking for the whole package, but the universe keeps sending you pieces to a puzzle. That King of Swords is always my card of truth and honesty and integrity and, you know, just communicating clearly about what it is that you want. And I feel like you've been doing that, but I don't feel like you've been solely and 100% dedicated to what it is you're asking for, right? Because the, the Knight of Wands represents going back and forth. It's Knight of Wands is not committal. Knight of Wands is rushing in, being impulsive, being um, passionate. It's like shooting first and asking questions later. So it's almost like you may overreact or react too quickly or too soon without having enough information. And angels are saying maybe create like this fabricated relationship or situationship. And it never goes anywhere. It just, you guys, you kind of just get stuck in limbo. Sorry, that's too high. Us readers, we play with our cards. Um, So now that you're kind of stuck in limbo and you're back at, at Jump Street again, at the starting point, looking all over again, it's like, all right, well, this time around, I'm a little worn out. You know, I'm nervous about asking what it is that I want because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it because the universe keeps sending me um, blanks. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys need to stop settling for less. It's almost like whatever it is that you're communicating, whatever boundaries you're setting, you need to stick to them because it's almost like you loosen up those boundaries and then you come up short. I'm also hearing you're feeling stupid. You're feeling stupid because you're coming up short. It's like, hey, I got me a dime piece and you take it home or you get to know it and it's a nickel. It ain't no dime. You need to level this out, this whole back and forth, the impulsiveness, the, you know, um, you need to get a hold on that, right? You need to be more consistent or um, angels just said delay, delayed gratification. A lot of you guys are looking for immediate results. And I wish the Knight of Pentacles was out here because the Knight of Pentacles would basically say, slow down, Libra. You have the Knight... Uh, excuse me, the Page of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, you guys are, uh, angels are saying you talk a good talk, right? You are, I feel like you know exactly what it is that you want, but kind of like what comes out of your mouth and what you wind up doing is lesser, right? It's kind of a little immature. It falls short. You start out strong here with the King of Swords as in communicating that, like, okay, here's what I want. But somewhere along the line, you lose track of what you want. You start to move fast. And um, you lose sight of what you, yeah, what you originally asked for. And then you come up short. This is what you're hoping for. You're hoping for beautiful, loving, romantic, strong foundational connection. You're looking, you're hoping for, you're wishing for your other person, your better half. Now, here's the thing, Libra. This is what you want. What you do, on the other hand, is this, right? Um, and angels are saying it could be as easy as uh, bringing sex into the situation prematurely and then you fall in lust not in love you fall in lust 
right? And you start to move forward and everything starts to go great. And then all of a sudden, things come to a crashing halt. And it's almost like you can't, <laughs> I was just, I just heard you can't get off of first base. <clears throat> Angels just said to me, this is Libra. So it's almost like you balance one side of your scale and it's like, okay, that side checks out. But then when it comes to the love department, when it comes to the commitment department, when it comes to longevity, when it comes to faithfulness, when it comes to conversation, right? Realistically, the major parts of the, the relationship, that is the part that you want the most, but it you fall short, right? You kind of get stuck in that mode and you can't, you can't get out of phase one. So what's going to have to happen going forward is in your next endeavor, your next situation, you're just going to have to kind of go with the flow and allow things to just move along organically and at the will of the universe versus your will, Libra. Ooh, boy, don't fall on the floor. First card popped out. Y'all see me playing salute you with it. Uh, wait, yeah, delayed gratification is your best friend, Libra. But I feel like even just me saying that, a lot of y'all cut the video off like, ugh, Alex. Uh -uh. But also at the same time, you delay it anyway. Because you start fast and then you wind up having to pause anyway. Whether it's because of your person, like stopping it, halting it, like, oh, this is too much, or this is not what I intended. This is not, you know what I mean? Whatever the reason, you halt it anyway. So you might as well build that into the upfront process. Yeah, I kind of feel like the universe wants you to allow things to come together uh, via divine timing versus Libra's timing. A year from now. A lot of you guys are wanting to be married is what I heard. Choose a new direction. There you are. But what's critical here is that you temper that movement. You have to, Libra, in the near future. And here's what's going to happen. You are going to be tested again. Universe is that thuggish. Universe is going to test you again to see if you do the same thing over and over. And here with the five of pentacles, it's like you move fast because it's almost like you're hungry and you need to eat. It's like, okay, but you know, if they gonna give it to me, I'm gonna eat Alex and we're saying you, okay. But then what happens in the end? You can't get off of first base. You can't, I promise you, you can't. <sighs> Nothing is yet set in stone. Be bold and make the first move. Well, I think that's a part of the problem. The answers you need are coming. You know what I just also heard too is that you may have opportunities that again, started fast and then dud it out. I'm also hearing that for some of you guys, you may be able to go back and kind of resurrect that. Step out of your comfort zone. Your comfort zone again is moving too fast and moving impulsively and, and moving hastily. You're real clear about what it is you want or need. And as you guys start to progress, you don't commit, you don't stick around. You go too fast. Angels are saying some of you guys too may jump into relationships too quickly. And then discover this is not what you need. And then you find yourself looking looking for somebody new. Aquarius, Sag, Sag, Gemini, Pisces, Sag, Capricorn, Aquarius. And that's it. All right, Libra, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you, Libra. Bye.